Okay, so this guy playing the guitar up here at is um is actually the one up at the crow's nest. <clears throat> um, the first one up here at the crow's nest. As there is a second one as well. So let's uh, let's give him a go. You with an agency here to sign me? No way. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm going to be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Want to play against a future celebrity? Why the hell not? That's what we're here for. Um, so, I'm going to have a quick look at the deck before we go in. Because I've just got another new couple of new cards. Um, what did we get? We got uh, this one. The Zemlet. Um, so, we're going to add that. Um... And we need to remove something else. Let's take away. Let's take away one of the security officers. And let's begin. Not a bad deck to start with. And let's steal these away here. Oof. So what does that do if I pull it there? And what does that do if I pull it there? So I'm going to play the Zemlit there. Or am I? Maybe it's worth for me to try and get hold of this here to block him because at the moment he's only got one place to play and that's there so that yeah that gives me a nice easy win so let's play let's play the zemlet there Let's see if we can't go a little bit overkill. If I place that there, that does power up them two. Uh, but also if I play that there, that powers up Chock and Mog. So it's actually worth to play that there. And then what happens if I play that there? Used to be a two. So that's nine. And that's nine. So it didn't really matter. Probably actually one of our better scores. Go! 
God damn, dude! You only chip wipe the floor with me! Oh, I really did, son. I really, I on really did. The times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me. Clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time. Okay, so this is the next one in the crow's nest, Michaela, uh, and then there is one more, which is Cameron. Your queen's blood. Hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? Aye, why not? Let's get rid of Magic Pot to begin with. Uh, so I'm going to struggle a little bit here because I've got no wands. So we're going to have to do that. And hopefully a wand will come out. There we go. So actually that's pretty good. Um, that allows us to take them two over. So we've only got spaces for two ones, that's not good. That, no, ooh, yes, that could work. At the moment, I'm winning every line. It depends on what happens with this. Oh dear. I have to pass. Now as long as this isn't more than four. Again I have to pass. Oh dear. See what happens here now. So I think I've won. Uh, seven and six is thirteen, isn't it? And they've got twelve. So actually, that was very close. Um, these games are certainly getting tougher, um, but that was a nice close one. And we get the card Mind Flare. Nice. That was great. 
See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone. You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace is in violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. Okay, so this is the third and final one in the Crow's Nest Cameron. And let's see what he's got going on. Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision, the true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. Okay, so the Midgar Sommar is up for grabs in this one, and let's go. Um, let's choose these two to get rid of to begin with, and see what comes out. Start there. See, that looks like a really good card that they play. I've not had one as of yet. I don't think I have at least. Dirty. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So we need to try and get that spot realistically. Um, that ain't gonna happen. And not with this setup at least or if we do we lose the ability to put a plus three on um, I wonder what happens if we do that when played spawn diamond just to the power of two four or six in empty positions um, I just wonder if that means it's going to use everything I've got and I don't really want to do that as of yet. I want to... I need to kind of steal that position but... Let's see what happens. Because at the minute it's only got two places to play, but it depends on what card he plays. That gives me full control of the rest of the board, basically. Um, that leaves a spot there open, unfortunately. But that will make that one's stronger or oh, do I play that there play that there I've got three spaces for two to play now what's this gonna do to me with that so actually that still opens up a little bit of play for me and in fact he can't play any more cards now 
So that gives me full opportunity now to just wipe the floor with him. Um, so we're going to go there and take both the first two runs. And then, do you know what? I'm going to try the Shiva card because I've not played it yet. So that would be seven. And if that had six on in row two, that would be a win there too. And it does, it adds six. Lovely. And that's it. <laughs> the champion was an easy win. Nice. This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? It has returned. No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth. Thank you for this experience, my friend.